Hello, it's Andrew from Real Speak with another pop-up grammar session today. And this time we're going to look at articles in English. Not newspaper articles, but a, an, the, and the zero article. So let's get started with articles. So, a, an, the, and the zero article. So, here's a sort of grammar, grammar book description. So we've got indefinite articles, such as a and an, show that we are talking about things in general. A is generally used before a word that begins with a consonant, like a car. An is used before a word that begins with a vowel, like an egg. Also, a can be used with words that appear to begin with consonants, but have a y sound, like a university, for example. Um, the definite article, the, shows we're talking about something specific. But is it really that simple? Is the grammar book description adequate? Well, let's take a look. A little story. Now, I'm going to read this, and I want you to sort of fill in the blanks in your mind um, using a, an, the, and possibly zero article. So every day I walk to news agents. I see lots of people on my way. I usually buy newspaper and bottle of water. Then I go to park and sit on bench. When I'm sitting on bench, I read newspaper. Sometimes I watch birds. They seem to enjoy park too. When I'm finished reading newspaper and drinking water, I go home. Then I begin first class of day. Okay, if you need to pause the video to take some notes, now's the time to do that because I'm going to move on to the next slide. So, every day I walk to the news agents. Okay. So we put the here because it's a specific place. It's a news agent that I go to every day. I see lots of people on my way. There is no article. Don't need one here for people. Zero article. I usually buy a newspaper because it's one of many. And a bottle of water. Again, it's one of many. Then I go to the park. Well, there's one park here. It's a specific place. Or it could be a known park that I go to every day, that you know of and I know of. And I sit on a bench, because it's one of many. When I'm sitting on the bench, because now I'm referring to a specific bench, the one on which I'm sitting, I read the newspaper, because it's the newspaper I have. It's one, it's a specific newspaper. Sometimes I watch the birds. They seem to enjoy the park too. When I'm finished reading the newspaper and drinking the water, Probably my water is better. I go home. Then I begin the first class of the day. So, I hope your answers were similar to those. But let's take a look at some more um, issues with our an and the. So, a and an, in general, we say they can refer to something in general. And the refers to something specific. Now... A few slides ago, I did ask if it was this easy, and the answer is unfortunately no, 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 it's not. Um, nothing like it. So, let's look at this for an example. In the field, there was a house. Next to the building, an old car. The car had been abandoned for years. The doors lay on the ground next to the car. So, if we look at this, we've got, in the field, there was a house. Then next to the building, which refers to the house. So why is it a house but the building? And then next to the building, an old car. Then the car had been abandoned for years. So why an old car but then the car? Is this about sort of being specific or being general? Let's take a look. So... In the field, there was a house. 
next to the building an old car the car had been abandoned for years the doors lay on the ground next to the car so why is it a house but the building well why is it an old car but the car so the first time a new noun is mentioned it's often with an indefinite article but once the noun is known once you're aware of this article the house or a house becomes the building because you know of it uh, an old car becomes the car because now you know of this noun so here's a recap of what we've covered so far so we've got first mention and further mentions the difference between a and an and the we've got new with a and an and known with the and then general with a and an and specific with the so that's what we've covered so far I hope that's quite clear of why nouns can transition from a and an to the is it just that simple I'll ask the question again unfortunately the answer is no the it may be used on first mention if the noun is something unique it may be used all the time if something is unique the moon for example there are other moons in the solar system I know but with this planet we have the moon there is one um, the can also be used if something is known or familiar you know if you wake up in the morning oh shall I turn the light on it's not our light it's the light it's possibly the one next to your bed shall I turn the light on it's known it's familiar unfortunately this part of grammar is still not quite as easy as the things we've looked at there are other things to consider other considerations to take into account so let's dive a little deeper into articles so there are many other uses of articles so for example a and an can also mean one like a million dollars a thousand years a and an can be used with singular countable nouns to describe a species so a dog needs a good walk every day and this is dogs in general the whole species yeah or a shark can live for 20 to 30 years this is sharks in general sharks as a species not a specific shark okay a and an can also be used where the noun carries more meaning than the verb so did you have a shave today have is not really important here but uh, the shave is that's what we're asking it's got more weight than the verb a and an can also be used after the verbs to be to seem to become among others to give more information such as a person's job their character their characteristics and so on so we've got he seemed a very pleasant person she is horrible and a cheat and I became a Spanish citizen so we're using a here the can be used with known things like we've already looked at shall I switch on the light I'm quite sure I've capitalized that but never mind let's go to the park it's a known thing we've got unique things there is only one like the moon the main entrance the can also be used to describe groups nationalities or groups of people family names so the Spanish so that's the Spanish nationality in general the police that's a group of people not the music band the actual police like the army the police the navy so on um, and the Simpsons a good name of a family that's reasonably popular the can also be used with some geographical terms such as mountain ranges island groups areas of water regions and places with republic and kingdom in the name so we can have the Himalayas, the Andes, the mountain ranges, the north of Germany, the south of France, the Middle East, regions, 
the Canary Islands, the Balearic Islands, groups of islands, the United Kingdom, um, the Democratic Republic of Congo, the United States is another one. And the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Pacific Ocean, the River Thames, the River Nile, the River Amazon. But note, we've got rivers and oceans or seas, the Mediterranean Sea, the Adriatic Sea, so on. But this is not used for lakes. So it's just Lake Michigan, not Lake the Lake Michigan. Or in Scotland, the, um, we have Loch Ness. Loch is a Scottish word meaning lake, so it's just Loch Ness, never the Loch Ness. So some bodies of water. Also with the, we can use ordinal numbers, dates and periods of time. So the 9th, the 12th of February. Periods of time I enjoyed the 90s or the 1990s. The also takes nouns which are formed from adjectives to describe a whole class or type of something. So we could talk about the poor, the rich, the middle class, the unemployed, these groups of people, which are nouns formed from adjectives. Now, zero articles, which we haven't really looked at yet, but this is where there's no article, such as people in the first example. So here we go, they use with names of people, places, products, languages, publications, proper nouns, so James, not the James or a James, just James, German as a language, uh, Madrid as a place name, uh, Christmas, proper noun, doesn't take the, um, other religious festivals are the same, you know, um, Ramadan or Eid, they don't take the, uh, Toyota, it's a, it's, it's a product, it doesn't take the, or Ford, or anything like that. And publications, Hamlet, it's a book, it doesn't take the. Some books, or Wuthering Heights, some books have the in the title, but that's when you can use them. But ones that don't have it, you don't need to use it. Uncountable nouns referring to something in general. So I like chocolate. Chocolate's uncountable, you can't have two chocolates, three chocolates, it's impossible. So I like chocolate. There's no article. Plural countable nouns referring to something in general. I like guitars. Well, I can have one guitar, two guitars. I've actually got seven guitars. And I don't say I like the guitars. No, I like guitars. Because they're countable, it's in general. Other uses of articles. Well, zero article can also be used with entire groups or classes of things, like we've mentioned. Dogs like to go for a walk. Sharks live for 20 to 30 years. Also, the zero articles used with school and college subjects. So, you study English, I study geography, we study history, I studied linguistics. No article with any of these. Zero articles are also used with meals and ways of travelling. So, I eat lunch. Did you have breakfast? Would you like dinner? No article. I travel by bus. I own a car. A car, if I was with own. But, but for travelling, no. I travel by bus, I travel by car, I travel by boat. With travelling, there's no article. Now here's a really difficult example, but it's some places we go to for a specific purpose. So, students go to school. The specific purpose of a school is that the students learn. That's the function of school. So this is the specific purpose. Students go to school. But now if I say I'm going to the school for a meeting, well meetings are not the specific purpose of school. So now it takes the. So I hope you enjoyed that quick uh, pop-up grammar session. Normally, I like to teach and learn languages in context, as I firmly believe that's the best way to do it, but it's good to reflect on grammar at some times. So I like to have my students speak English, not study it. So if you'd like to book an English class with me, or a free 15-minute class, trial class, it's info at realspeak.uk. If you like the video, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe, buy me a coffee in the link. 
And if there are any suggestions for grammar topics or English topics you'd like me to discuss, please leave a comment in the section below. Thank you.